We could be a step closer to the end game of this pandemic. Thanks for joining us. I'm Nia Wong. Aaron Luna has the night off. A new study shows if you're vaccinated and later get infected with COVID, you might have super immunity. Here's where vaccination rates stand. In Washington, nearly 68% of people have at least one dose. 62.4% fully vaccinated. In Idaho, 57.6% of people have had at least one dose. A little more than half the population is fully vaccinated. Breakthrough cases can happen, but being vaccinated decreases your chance of becoming seriously sick. We start our coronavirus coverage tonight with Caitlin Knapp. She can tell us what the study means for the future of COVID-19. Nia, the study from the Oregon Health and Science University is a game changer. If you're vaccinated and end up getting COVID, your immunity to future COVID infections soars by 1,000%. As COVID mutates, this study shows super immunity may protect you against future variants. Day by day, we're learning more about COVID-19 and how to fight it. If you're vaccinated, that's another kind of immunity, and it's better than the immunity from natural infection. We know that. A new study from the Oregon Health and Science University could be the hope we've been waiting for. If you're vaccinated and happen to get sick after, Dr. Marcel Curlin says you develop super immunity your immunity is likely to be much better than if you were just vaccinated alone. Those antibodies are better at neutralizing new variants, even variants that you were not even infected with. The people in the study got Pfizer shots with no booster. However, the University of Washington says the expectation of super immunity is similar with other vaccines. Would this broad immunity now build the level of, of protection against the next potential wave? And if it does, we may start to see the end of this pandemic. Now, this doesn't mean you should try to get the virus. And in fact, what this study tells you is that what you really want to do is get vaccinated. Having that protection and if you get sick, your super immunity could last through the next wave and potential future ones. We're going to have a more immune worldwide population and COVID will have a harder time getting a foothold. We'll have a harder time creating these big surges that sweep through and disrupt our society. It'll become more. The percentage of breakthrough cases is small, but they can happen. Tomorrow on 4 News Now at 6, you'll hear from a man going through a breakthrough case. I'll explain why he says he's thankful to be vaccinated. Live in studio, Caitlin Knapp, 4 News Now. Thank you so much, Caitlin.